Good morning, everybody. Okay, so you can't get to Mexico or a warm weather destination. I've got the next best thing. Why not whip up some margarita chicken? It is so easy, just a few ingredients, and it'll kind of make you, kind of make you feel like you're hanging out on the beach. Super simple, as I said, uh, we're going to start with a 10-ounce can of frozen margarita mix that I've let thaw just a little bit. just doesn't take long to thaw at all. Just remove it from the freezer and let it sit on your counter for a little bit. So that goes into a bowl. Then we've got a quarter cup of either vegetable oil or canola oil. Splash, about a quarter cup or so of tequila. We're getting the party started here and then a few dashes of hot sauce. And that's your marinade, it's that easy. So this is something you could do in the morning before you head out to work. Get your chicken marinating in the fridge all day and then come home and bake it off, yum. Okay, so there's that. Now, let's talk about the chicken for a minute. You can use any kind of chicken for this. I'm using a whole cut up fryer. You could use just um, whole boneless, um, skinless chicken breast or bone-in chicken breast, whatever your family likes. One thing that I like to do, my mission is to, you know, help other busy people get dinner on the table. I know it's a struggle, it's tough, but whenever anything's on sale, like chicken, I stock up on it. So I know there's a big chicken sale this week at festival. It's always nice to have chicken or things that your family eats a lot on hand and in your fridge or freezer already. So, and I like to marinate, you know, keep the mess pretty hassle-free. So I'm gonna do this all in a big, Ziploc bag. So get all my chicken right in here. Then take that marinade. And this makes enough marinade for, I said, one cut up, a whole cut up fryer or even about eight boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And it's always nice to do a little extra. Leftovers are great in salads. You could make fajitas with them, all sorts of things. Casseroles. So get that all in there, rub it around, and get it into your refrigerator. Uh, if you just have a couple hours, that'll work great, but better to do it in the morning, as they said, and then, then that flavor can really get in there all day long while you're out doing your thing, and then you can cook it up when you come home from work. You can even do it for up to 24 hours. So in the fridge, this goes, and then you want to remove it from the refrigerator right before you bake it. Preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. Get the chicken out of the bag and put it into a roasting pan. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and come back with me and let me show you what's been making the studio smell so good today. So amazing and so quick and easy. It gets nice and brown. And if your chicken isn't getting brown enough, um, and this baked for about 45 minutes, to an hour until those juices run clear. Speaking of juices, look at all those pan juices at the bottom there. I like to serve this on a big platter, take it to the table, and really get kind of a, a wow factor. And then I like to garnish it with a little bit of fresh cilantro and lime juice. This is great served with rice or mashed potatoes. It's just really yummy and, and pretty healthy too. Garnish it up with some limes, wedges or slices. Doesn't that look great? Hey, I'm out signing my cookbook tomorrow in New Holstein and on the weekend on Saturday in uh, Sturgeon Bay. So come see me and say hi. And I'm always cooking. You know me. Today on Living with Amy, it, we've got the blues, but it's a good thing. I'm making a delicious pasta dish with chicken and gorgonzola cheese. And on Sunday, I've got a great recipe for ravioli soup. So I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin on Sunday. All the recipes that we do, you can find them on our website. And this recipe you can also pick up at Festival Foods. It's my margarita chicken. Make it for dinner tonight or sometime soon. It's kind of like you're in Mexico. Stay with us. Pete and Rachel will be right back.